I'm a simple boy. I'm easy to entertain. If you put something in my hand and give me the ability to make it go boom, I'm a happy camper. That's all I really need. But Medal of Honor was dedicated, and I mean really dedicated, to make it as hard to enjoy as possible. And before I say anything else negative, I do want to first say that I enjoy the game. I, I had some good fun with it. Oh, oh, is that a grenade? Oh, oh, did that make it in the, the building? No, no, that must have hit outside. Oh my God, this is, I like this. But before I could get to that good fun, EA decided that I needed to suffer immensely. That's disgusting. Firstly, the game is 171 gigabytes. That is an insane amount of real estate uh, on my little laptop that could. Uh, I had to store and edit this video from a flash drive I had left over from middle school. And on top of that, it's a $60 game. It is a full AAA markup. I can't complain about that because the last few weeks have been some of the strangest of my life and I didn't actually buy this game. A wonderful smooth brain named Seitai? Seda? I, I'm sorry, um, but they bought this game for me. And that was after multiple other people offered to buy it for me as well. Even knowing that I could have afforded it eventually, but they, they still wanted to buy it for me anyway. So seriously, to you and everyone else who offered, thank you, genuinely thank you. Um, but yeah. $60. This is such a weird choice of music for sneaking into a Nazi compound. So after what could only be described as a natural disaster occurred within my hard drive, I did finally have enough space for Medal of Honor, and I could finally give it a try. Again, fun, happy, cheery music, war crime. And it's not just playing the Harry Potter soundtrack over Nazi death squads that kept the game from being a hit. Okay, I know this is kind of a nitpick, but were the Nazis like ADA compliant? Would they really have a wheelchair ramp in here? I mean, they're Nazis. <laughs> I think it's also a timing issue. If this game had come out like two or three years ago before Half-Life Alex and The Walking Dead, I think it would have killed it, or at least received much better. It really does have some cool moments that are only possible in VR. The bomber mission alone was worth all the trouble I went through clearing space on my PC. I'm a huge wannabe World War II history buff, so the game, for me personally, was a good time. Anytime I get to physically take cover behind something and shoot World War II guns at my enemies, I'm set, there's almost nothing else I would rather be doing, uh, but I do see why the game got the reception that it did. If you take it out of VR, it is a World War II game with absolutely zero grit. If this game was sandpaper, you could safely run it over the hood of your car and not take off a fleck of paint, with the only exception being the D-Day invasion, because that mission was pretty intense. I don't think there's a way to make D-Day not gritty. <clears throat> we have the papers. That was English, you absolute moron. How could you- Which isn't immediately a bad thing. It was lighthearted fun. The dialogue did make me laugh a few times, I'm not gonna lie. For the love of God, will you stop waving at them? <laughs> I'm just being friendly. Oh, hello, Fritz. Oh, hello, Hans. Oh, Peter, you're looking quite alien today. But for whatever reason, I think people were expecting something a little more Saving Private Ryan rather than this 15 year old who 100% looks like a toddler. I get that he's supposed to look young, but my god, he is an actual infant. Are they really going to expect me to, to know how to play music right now? Is that what's about to happen? Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, every good boy does fine. I think it's going up, so that would be E, E, and then like an E sharp? No, I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, it's a half step. No, that was a G. No, I didn't mean to press that. It's E, E, F, F, E, E, F, F, every good, F, F, D, every good boy. Oh, that's a B. Oh my God, it's written right there. Are you? <laughs> Are 
And the game as a whole made me realize again that VR has opened a Pandora's box of possibilities for things to do in a shooter campaign. I loved that it wasn't just get from point A to point B and kill everything that moves in between. I just wish it wasn't $60 and 171 gigabytes. Why do they have real people on the firing range? <laughs> this is so inhumane. Are these POWs? Am I shooting prisoners? If, if it feels like a war crime, it's probably a war crime. Oh, come on. There is a multiplayer, but the multiplayer was just... Eh. I found myself wanting to go back to the campaign. That's about all I remember for multiplayer. So really, I'm just sad. So much work clearly went into this game, and I can see why they have to charge $60 for it. The film production they did for the gallery pieces alone, I'm sure, cost a fortune too, and they probably don't get the attention they deserve. But yeah, I enjoyed the game, but I can also see why it's not a massive success. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, Ooh, that one went a little bit too far in. Ah! Thank you again, Say Tater Tot and, and everyone else. It feels so incredibly weird to be making the same content that I've always been making, except now there's 15,000 people watching. Uh, if you are here right now, whether you've been here forever or you just found me because the algorithm pimped me out to you, I appreciate you being here. I do. I'm having a gargantuan amount of fun, a Godzilla vs. King Kong amount of fun. Someone even started a subreddit for me, uh, which is incredible because right now the subreddit consists of pogchamp an incredibly damning screenshot from the discord p ping with six votes uh, uh, and your your options are ping ping or ping <laughs> but anyways i hope that something good happens to you today or tomorrow because i usually watch youtube before i go to bed too like this video if you want the algorithm to pimp me out even harder uh, but honestly again just love yourself. There, there's no reason not to, unless you're a serial killer or something, which is incredibly rare. But I will see you in the Minecraft hentai server. Goodbye. Excellent choice. Boom. I don't trust that guy.